This channel is for adults and not for kids. Hey guys, thanks for stopping back by. Super cool robot to show you guys tonight. Um, this badass looking robot. Um, this is a Legios. Um, this is a transforming robot, which transforms from uh, a jet fighter to um, an in-between stage. Um, I think in Robotech they called it the Gerwalk. It's basically a jet with legs. And then into a full-on robot mode, which is what you see here. Um, this is a Legios. Um, he comes from uh, Genesis Climber Mospita. Um, if you guys watched my um, video on the toys from Super Dimension Fortress Macross, um, you'll know that what over here in America the kids knew as Robotech is a combination of Super Dimension Fortress Macross um, Super Dimension Cavalry Southern Cross, and Genesis Climber Mospita. Um, Mospita is where these Legios are from, and Mospita is um, where you got that awesome uh, transforming motorcycle, which, you know, in Robotech they called the dude Scott Bernard, and he had a transforming um robotic motorcycle armor here's a here's a little version of that that comes with this robot so for all you robotech freaks out there this is, here's your little tiny scott bernard <laughs> uh sans the motorcycle though that's just his battle armor pretty cool for like a little two inch figure Um, okay, where do I begin with this guy? Um, so this super cool robot, um, is from the Henshin Robo line, put out by the, uh, Japanese company, Japanese company, Gaken, back in 1983. Um, the robots were, uh, then, um manufactured by Gawkin, but um, sent over to Singapore, where they were produced by, you know, Gawkin's Singapore um, company, and um, sent out into the rest of the world. Um, I th think I have a sneaky suspicion that I may have one of the Singapore versions of this. I'm not sure, though. Okay, so long story short, um, <laughs> how do I how do I describe this story? Okay, let's say I had an admirer, um, because stalker is just a little too <laughs> it might be just a little too strong, but just by a little bit. Um, so this person, um. She knew that I was into monsters and robots and anime and science fiction and fantasy and horror movies and all all the stuff that we're into. She found out that I love this stuff. And um, one day I was going on and on about toys like I tend to do. Um, and this person was really adamant about listening to you like super intense would just listen and hang on every fucking syllable you said and um apparently i had said something about anime and robots i'm not exactly sure what i said but this person she tracked down this um robot 
and showed up one day uh, to work with this robot and gave it to me. And I was like, wow, that's pretty amazing and somewhat frightening because I, <laughs> I was still married at the time. And I wasn't really cool with accepting gifts from um, strangers, let alone strange women. And um, But the person insisted and said that if I didn't take it home, she was just going to walk away and leave it. And this person was psycho enough to do that. So far be it from me to turn down an awesome transforming Japanese robot from the 1980s. So I took it home. Um, the box was beat to shit. Um, the box totally fell apart. It was only held together by literally um, scotch tape. I mean, granted, it was like the transparent type of scotch tape, but scotch tape nonetheless. And so it, I would say two weeks after I had this robot, the box totally fell apart. But the box, on the cover um, said Henshin Robo Line by Gokin. And here's the, um, here is the sort of sticker placements. But that doesn't look like my robot. This looks like the blue robot. This doesn't look like the green robot that I have. So I'm I'm not exactly sure what happened. If I had, yeah, like I think that, I think, I don't know. If the box went to this one. Oh, by the way, you do get a little seated, a little seated dude is in the cockpit. And then you can stand um, the other one up like that, which is pretty fucking cool um also i think i have read that the singapore legios had instructions in english like this so i may have gotten like a japanese box with the singapore instructions like i don't know where this crazy chick found this thing but she could have cobbled it together her damn self she was nuts enough to do something like that she could have took the figure from one box and threw it in, you know, threw in the instructions and the sticker sheet from somewhere else. I, I don't know the sordid details behind my acquisition of this robot. Look at all that awesome transformation stuff. God damn, I love Japanese robots from the 70s and the 80s. And then you get, sorry. You get, um, like I showed you, you get this sheet, which talks all about sticker placement. I'd wear a t-shirt with that image on it right there. <laughs> Just that. That's pretty awesome. Um, and then here are the, you know, the stickers, which have all been, all been used. I don't know. That crazy bitch might have put these on herself. I, I have no idea. But this this was the sheet that contained all the stickers that you now see upon his lovely self. And then, like I showed you, here's the little dude in um in the super cool armor. Um, let's show you the robot in a little bit more detail. Trust me, guys, he transforms just fine, but his joints are not, um, he's a little loosey-goosey in some parts, and I, I really just don't want to transform him on camera. I try not to move this dude too much. Um, you know the Macross robots? have a little bit more personality in their, do I call them faces? You know what I mean, their heads, 
look a little cooler than these robots, the Valkyries. Um, but this one's cool too. I mean, he's not stupid looking, but um, I definitely like the um, Macross jet fighter robots better than these. But like I said, how the fuck are you going to turn down a um, transforming robot toy from 1983? If you could have walked away and left this thing sitting on the curb, you're a, <laughs> you're a stronger man than me, Charlie Brown. I couldn't do it. I thought I had strong resolve, but... Yeah, when... When the person sprung it on me that, well, if you don't take it, I'm just going to drive away and leave it there on the curb. And you knew that person meant it. <laughs> I thought, well, shit. I, I will take that robot then. There's the little dude in the, um, in the cockpit. The pilot. Anyway, I was um I was digging through boxes of robots tonight when I came across this guy and I thought you I thought somebody out there might like him. Um if you are interested in um Super Dimension Fortress Macross or if you want to call it Robotech if you're interested in those toys, I have an awesome video on the channel that shows off all my, you know, Valkyries, and you guys would enjoy that. I almost got out my um, Valkyrie uh, to set it next to this guy so you guys could see a comparison. <clears throat> but then I decided against it. <laughs> I just didn't want to fucking dig in the box and, and grab him. Um, okay, so you, got, you guys want to know what started this whole goddamn video? I'll show you. Hang on one second. So what started this video was... <clears throat> I just got in this gorgeous new um, model. This 172nd scale um, Macross model. And... It is gorgeous. Look how he's going to look when he's done. Holy shit. Look at that. Now, see, these robots just have more personality in them. Uh, he looks good. He don't look that sexy, though. Anyway, um, I got this new model in. And I haven't started building it yet because um, I had to wait for the right paint to show up. Um, it's, God, this is going to be, a, oh, fuck. This is going to be long and arduous. Today's episode was brought to you by the word arduous. Um, yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be a long fucking build. Anyway, everything that you see here in white, the actual robot isn't really white. He's like a light, light gray. Not white, but a light, light gray. Well, <clears throat> I was all out of light, light gray, so I had to order new paints. And, um... The paints should show up sometime by this weekend, and then I will start constructing this beautiful beast. So anyway, long story short, I was going through all my Japanese robots, and I was thinking of Macross, which <laughs> made me think of his sort of, you know, adopted brother, his cousin, um, the Legios from... Um, Genesis Climber Mospita, and I thought, let's show that off to the folks and tell them 
<laughs> tell them your crazy story about how a stalker <laughs> gifted you a really cool robot. Someday I'll have to tell you guys about some of the other crazy gifts that just like showed up. If some of it was kind of cool, but <laughs> other parts of it weren't very cool. You know, I love horror movies. I just don't want to fucking star in one. <laughs> uh, this is a cool robot, though. I don't mean to shit on him. He's he's neat looking. He's just not as cool looking as um, the ones from across. But that's a hard act to follow. Anyway, hopefully some of you got a kick out of this cool robot. And uh, my goofy ass story of how I got him. All right, my friends, hang in there. <laughs> Don't take any presents from strangers. Unless it's an expensive, hard to find out of print Japanese robot and nobody's watching. <laughs> All right, guys, hang in there. Happy Halloween.